What are we doing? Our kids are living in fear every single time they set foot in a classroom because they think they're going to be next. When in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name we do what we all know in our gut needs to be done? It was a mass casualty incident at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Uh, this school uh, has children that are in second, third, and fourth grade. The, the suspect uh, did act alone uh, during this hyenas crime. Yes, we got it. It's okay. We're right here. We're right here. Okay. It's okay. We're right here. Okay. Hey, hey. We're right here. Okay. When parents drop their kids off at school, they have every expectation to, be, to know that they're going to be able to pick their child up when that school day ends. I ran over there to the next block. They went to go chase him. Patrons, we have another Sandy Hook on our hands. What are we doing? There have been more mass shootings than days in the year. Our kids are living in fear every single time they set foot in a classroom because they think they're going to be next. What are we doing? I had hoped when I became president I would not have to do this again. Another massacre, beautiful, innocent, second, third, fourth graders. <clears throat> and how many scores of little children who witness what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? How we doing, guys? Myself, Chris Predator, OBE, here in your quick one. Real Talk True Season. First and foremost, condolences to every single young person that lost their life to this mass shooting in America. And, and the reason why I'm touching on this because I feel like it it relevates to every single one of us. And now even America's sitting there saying, what do we need to do about it? Why do you not have gun laws in the first place? Why is this guy, 18 years of age, able to go inside a school and shoot up the whole place? Where was the security? Like they're saying, where's the stability to make sure that these are the kind of places that we feel like should be safe havens. These are the kind of places, if your child's at home or your child's in school, that's where you know as a parent that your child is safe. That's when you know to yourself that I can be at peace of mind knowing that they're protected, knowing that the schools have put safeguard into place to make sure that my children's safe. You've got young kids screaming and crying. Could you imagine the shock and the horror that these young kids are facing? And they're in primary school. We even understand the shock and the horror of what a 15, 13, 14 year old will face if they see their friends being stabbed, the mental health problems that they're going through, the anxiety, the depression. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to how to be able to deal with that and function that we all even know like when soldiers go to war and they think they come back with postnatal depression and all the kind of rest of it. So it's like, rah, like, okay, cool. Like if we know that an adult can go through that, can you imagine a, a eight year old, a nine year old feeling scared, feeling suicidal, feeling like they don't even want to live anymore because they're frightened and scared to feel like it could be them being shot. The, night, the amount of sleepless nights, the amount of rebuilding that, that parents are going to have to do with that child, the amount of rebuilding that the parents are going to have to do themselves to feel comfortable, to not let them out of their sight. And these are the kind of times it really, really worries me around the world when we're seeing so much things happening and we're sitting here and we're saying to ourselves, how do we protect ourselves anymore? How do we protect ourselves? How do we protect ourselves from these criminals? How do we protect ourselves from the, the devilish and the evil people that are out there that are ready to kill mass people for no reason? Because due to mental health problems or due to racist um, attacks or due to just, in, just inhumane people, like there's, no, there's no humanity anymore. 
And it's just really, really scared and it's really, really shocking that we're seeing this time and time and time and time again. And it's just like, I feel like we have to homeschool our kids. I feel like we have to protect ourselves. I feel like we have to protect our family. So there's a part of me saying, well, maybe we all should have weapons like America. But then look what happens. We're in the UK right now. There shouldn't be any weapons, but there's still weapons. The kids are still using knives. The kids are still using guns. We don't feel protected or safe within our own community. We're getting to a stage now where all they're caring about is the digital world, the financial market, the, the stocks and shares and everything. And we're not even caring about humanity. We're not even caring about the earth anymore. We're destroying the earth and we want to go to Mars. Imagine that. We're destroying the earth and we want to go to Mars. And these are the kind of things where it's just like, why are you trying to go to Mars? Because we want to see if there's water and see if we can live there. But there's water here. There's earth here. Why are you destroying it? Why don't we just fix it and rebuild? But no, you guys want to dig, dig down. You guys want to go up. You want to go left. You want to go right. And then we get to a stage of our young people. We're losing generations. We've got blood on our hands. All of us have got blood on our hands. If we feel like we're not doing nothing about it, to speak up. Sometimes within our community, we need to say, no, this is wrong. This is not happening. We can't just sit there and point fingers at the police and the government. We've got to sit there and point out the people that's going wrong. We've got to sit there and support these single parents and support these families. We can't keep just throwing our kids into prison like we so clearly say, but there needs to be us then as a community that deals with them kind of understandings. We can't just look at it and be like, it's not my child. We can't look at it and look at it as that, oh, that guy was going to be crazy anyway. This is sending him to prison because it seems that like the prison system is more run by just the more people that's in there, the more they get paid. The more bums that was on seats, the more they're getting paid. So they don't care. They're not rehabilitating these young boys. They're not rehabilitating anybody when they go into prison. And this guy should be put on death row. Like I said, life for a life. I don't care what anyone says. If you've took it that far to say to yourself, I'm going to mass murder everybody that's crazy and you feel like what well, you're going to be justifiable because you're going to say you're going to plead insane I'm gonna, i guarantee they're going to probably say that you know he, he's mentally ill we're going to send him to a mentally ill hole when is it right when is it justice and when is it not justice when is someone mentally ill or when is someone just sick and nasty when is it just a sick society that we're living in and it really really shocks me that the fact that in this day and age in 2022 we've got young kids witnessing this every day day to day on our streets killing death mass murder, sex, abuse, paedophilia. It's just all out there right now for them seeing. When I was growing up, I never saw murder. When I was growing up, I never saw rape, paedophilia, sex crime. I never saw none of these kind of stuff. Our kids are getting way, way too much pushed into the forefront of this vision and they're not allowing to actually be kids anymore. They're not actually allowed to play. They're not actually allowed to go out. That's a society that we're living in now. But what's you guys' thoughts? How would you have dealt with that situation? What would you do if you was a parent and your children's school got shut up? How do you feel in London knowing that your children are getting stabbed at certain schools? Do you still want them to go to that school? Do you feel like you're safe in your borough, in your community? How do we solve these kind of problems? What's you guys' thoughts? Comment below.